Today I'm at Matsura UK at their headquarters in Colville. I'm with Mark Cumberland and I'm going to be telling you all about a buy now, pay later deal. And not just the deal, but the reasons behind why Matsura are offering this on this Muratech machine. Now this is yes. the Muratech MD60, yep. of course a turn-in centre. It is. Tell yep. us all about it. Well the MD60 is the smallest of the automated uh, turning centres that Murata offer. Um, so it's a single spindle, single turret machine. You can have it with driven tools or without driven tools. But as with everything Murata, um, as standard, it comes with automation. Okay, now I'm intrigued as to who you think should be interested in this machine and why. To be fair, it's any uh, company, whether you're a subcontractor or an OEM, um, that uh, is doing batch running of, uh, of turn components, um, that want to just have that unmanned running, the lights out running. Um, you know, we have a, a stocker of 14 positions, maximum of 450 high. So obviously, depending on the, the length of your component, you can get a lot of parts into the machine. Yeah, even if you're machining a batch of 50 off, the time taken to set the machine to cut the part is the same on, on any lathe within reason. And then to set the stocker to actually run the parts unmanned is another 10 minutes. Okay, now I want to go into a little bit more detail about the process stability in a minute, but before that, buy now, pay later. Um, why? Well, we have the confidence in this machine that it will go into a customer and it will perform and it will give you lots and lots of years of, of, of reliable unmanned running. So to prove that and to get it into customers that may be you know, a little bit sceptical about whether this type of machine is right for their production, you know, you can have the machine, you can take it, um, and then pay us, uh, pay us later on, obviously once you then start to make a return off the machine. Okay, now of course terms and conditions always apply, oh, yes. <laughs> but what would be the scepticism? Where, where are these points then? Because everybody hears the good bits, but what about the areas where people are curious or, or maybe reticent? Well, um, the, the, the point that a lot of uh, people would make, or the, the, the argument that people would say to us, well I only make a batch of 10 off. Well as I said just now, you know, a batch of 10 off can easily run through this machine as well. The actual, you know, the extra time it takes you to set the stocker is very minimal. And what we normally say is, you set the machine up, the part goes into inspection, and whilst the, your inspector is giving you the go-ahead to run the part, you set the stocker. Okay. Now I look at it and I go, well, okay. Biggest thing for me, or one of the biggest things, is the size of this thing. It's tiny. Oh, it's great. Yeah. I mean, so if you much were to, output in such a small area. Most definitely. If you were to compare this to a, a, a conventional uh, lathe then obviously the footprint of this being just under three metres wide is, is, is very good in terms of being able to you know, plan your factory space much more efficiently. I suppose it's output of how many parts you can get in an area, which is criti yeah, exactly. critical yeah, these yeah. days. Yeah. Um, the, the fact that the spindle is facing this way, is there any uh, other advantage to that other than footprint, or is it just, just really the way to configure a small machine? When Murata um, started off very much with their parallel spindle machines, so the spindle is facing the operator, rather than running horizontally through the machine tool. So, you know, it's a very, very old tested design. It works. It's a very stable process. You know, accuracy-wise, the machines are very, very uh, good with repeatability. Um, and also, because of the spindle configuration and turret configuration, you don't see much growth at all, maybe a couple of microns, really, from cold to warm. OK, now, these machines, there is more machines, more Murata machines or Muratech machines running in the automotive industry than any other machine tool around the world. That says something, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, Murata typically sit in the automotive industry. They have done for the past 50 years. Um, as I said, it's a very, very well-proven design of machine. Um, and as we said earlier, you know, everything comes with automation as standard. Um, what can you do here under I know we've got we've got this obviously this this feeding system here can we have one there so we can maybe do op one this side and and then put the part there or op two how, how does all that work and what are my options so there are lots of configurations for this machine so the single spindle machine was originally developed to add a spindle to the twin parallel spindle machine so if you had an imbalance from op 10 to op 20 on that machine you could add another spindle to bring that um, offset back down again uh, the configuration that we see it here has a single stocker um, so you would load all of your parts onto the stocker um, and there are different ways that we can stop the, the pallet from rotating, uh, either by counting the number of parts. We could have more than one different type of part sitting in the stocker at any one time. Um, or we have a stop peg so that if we want to just run the whole lot in its entirety, it will then stop at the end of the, the product run. Um, what we can also do 
uh, we can add a turnover station so we can do op 10 and op 20. Obviously that then relies on your truck jaws, your work holding being able to cater for both operations. Um, the other thing we can do on the right hand side of the machine, we could have a, uh, a second stocker and we could then have a completely different part feeding from one side into the other. So you could have part A on the left and part B on the right, just to give you that extra number of hours unmanned running. Um, I asked you the question about what I think people would say is a, a reason to get this. And my, my biggest thing on this type of machine is the fact that if you've got an operator in a machine shop and he's working on a machining centre, yeah and he's milling a part and, he's mo and then he's got, to, he's got to worry about what the turning centre's doing. Yeah. He's either got to take the part from one machine to the other. Yeah. There's a lot of time involved in that and a, yeah. lo a lot of hassle yeah. and a lot of, lot of manpower. Yeah. This eradicates all of that in one it small does, yeah, area, yeah. doesn't one it? One small footprint, you know, you're going you're gonna to load this machine up um, and you're going to come in the next morning and your parts are going to be finished or ready for the next operation. And the beauty of this is, is that it doesn't have to just be one part, you can have a variety of components. Yes, that's right. Uh, change a few things in the control system in order to yep. come in in the morning with maybe two or three different uh, batches of parts yeah, finished sure. and done. Yes. The overnight run. Yes. Everything that Matsura talk That's about. That's right. It's exactly the same as we do with the Matsura. Absolutely. And this machine, buy now, pay later. Mark's explained exactly why they're doing that. Uh, they're confident you should be. Uh, talk to Matsura, matsura.co.uk.